What's going on, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? This is Wishmaster TD of Dreadforge Gaming bringing you another Dragon Prophet video. This is episode 3, and in episode 3, we're going to talk about the Dragon Lair and taming your dragons. Okay, as you notice, I'm not on my Oracle right now, so. Because I thought y'all would want to see a couple of the other dragons instead of the starting ones. This is the Lair Manager. This is where you do all your dragon training out. So last night before I went to bed, I sent these four guys out doing training and gathering and whatnot. So anyway, right here is your dragon info. It tells you all the stats for your particular dragon. Right here tells you all your skills. My main two dragons that I use is this guy named Scrat. He is a rare stargazer from one of the beginner dungeons. And Snots, my thornlash. He's my main, my main damage one. He's level 25 now. Anyway, moving on. The second button right here is your dragon process. What dragon process do, you can tell them to do a special purpose, which they just do uh, basically training. It goes all the way up to training level 5 currently, I do believe. Then you have skill training. Skill training just makes them uh, train their skills. Then you have ore collection. If anybody played uh, Star Wars The Old Republic, it's a lot like you used your companions in that one. You select process details and tell them what, which one you want them to harvest. All the way up to obsidian ore starting at unrefined ore. Then you have herb collection. You can tell them to collect all their little herbs and stuff. Then you have wood, leather, cloth, and hunting. Okay, moving here, this is actually where you level your dragon. Once you get uh, training XP, they gain in level, and then you can add stats to them. I try to even mine out through uh, strength and constitution, a little bit of intelligence, ferocity, dragon affinity. I'll probably respect them at a later date, but that's what that is. Now, when you assign points, you have to click this button here, which is your save button. Down below that is field training. And I'll show you how this works. Select your dragon, put him there. Select the other dragon, put him there. And what this does is it makes them go out on a uh, training run, and the two dragons you assign have a chance to earn each other's skills. So you click train, little path clears up, and it tells you what you get. And I got an achievement. So let's do that two more times because I want Snots to get life share, uh, healing wind. So more training experience from Dragon Provisions. Let's train one more time. And that. And you can do that three times per day. Alright, down here's your layer storage. This is where everything is kept that your dragons harvest. Down here's your journal. It tells you exactly everything your dragons have done. So that's that. Now we're going to pull all my guys that I usually use down here. And we're going to send these guys out on get yeah, well, actually I'm going to wait till I get some more money. I recently upgraded gear, so kind of low on funds right now. But once you equip a dragon, Gonna hear Dragon Souls, and you have Dragon Soul skills, which that's uh, skills that you learn from having a dragon. But right now, I'm going to go find a dragon that I can tame and capture for you. So we'll be back in a minute. Okay, here we found Skitter. What we're going to do is you're going to pull said dragon that you want to tame. He's got two with him, so I've got to kill them first. If that's okay, I think we can handle it. Come on now. Right, let's get my healing dragon out. Alright, while you're when you're getting ready to tame a dragon, you need to get it down to between 50 and 30%. I usually like to get them a little bit lower. Now, just keep beating on him until you get him down low enough. Just 
keep fighting, keep fighting. Then you're going to get ready to press your capture button. Whatever key you have it slotted to. Uh, da, 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 da. Come on, come on. Alright, now capture. Alright, keep that little skull in the middle of your... in the middle of the screen. When it says an H or something like that. Drag and drive. Dang it. Hit the wrong button. I love that. I keep fat finger on my keyboard for some reason. And there you go. And now I have uh, Scrit, or whatever his name is. Let's bring him out. There we go. So I get to train him out. He is a ground based dragon, so he's going to be pretty quick on the move. Nyong. Alright, cool. So now, yeah, I'm not sure if he's ancient quality or not, but that's they said he was. If he is, that's pretty pathetic stats for a uh, for an ancient quality dragon. Okay, well, that's cool, I guess. He got some pretty cool skills. But anyway, we're going to head back to the lair, and then I will show you all how to train up past max level. So, see you all in a bit. And we're back, guys. Okay, back to the lair manager. If you remember, I said that I have trained Snots up to maximum training level 5. He cannot go any higher at this point. He cannot go any higher than level 25. So, this was the very first dragon I ever trained. But he's been put away for quite some time. I just used dragon provisions to bring him up to training level 10. Now, you put him, you click on this button here, where you dedicate your dragon to the latest academy. And you'll get one latest academy provision. So click it. Yes. Okay. Got one provision. Now I'm going to click on Snots. And you click here. Yes. Now he gained two levels. Now I can train him up to level 25. Pretty cool, right? So now, instead of being capped at level 25, he's now capped at 27. And whenever he reaches his max level, you can offer one of your common dragons up as soon as they reach training level 10 to the latest academy, get you a latest academy provision, and then you increase the training level of whatever dragon you want. I always thought that was kind of cool. That's kind of a cool way to level up. So you're constantly capturing dragons, training dragons, stuff like that. Okay, let's see. Dragons, dragons, dragons. Okay, over here you see there's their items. So you can create, um, equip armor form, a saddle, and an armlet, which is another type of armor. But anyway, guys, that's basically all I know about training your dragon and stuff. So... Anyway, if you thought this video was helpful, please rate, comment, and subscribe. If you feel like having a guild to run with in Dragon's Profit, or really any game, we're currently very active in uh, DayZ and League of Legends also, uh, check us out at, we're a part of the Engine Network, that's where our temporary site is, and just look up Dreadforge. We have a TeamSpeak server, and all the dressings for an online gaming community but anyway guys remember to rate comment subscribe I really like it when people hit those subscribe buttons and if you place a comment I will get back with you just as quick as I can I usually tend to um, reply to everybody who posts comments on my videos but anyway guys that's enough of me rambling for today I hope you found this 
video very helpful. Anyway, this is Bushmaster TD, also known as Mahalik in MMORPGs. Signing off, y'all have a great day. Peace out.